just jump off now and save us all the time. Make some noise for the big guy, DJ! <laughs> Dainty and yet masculine. Let's see what Grandmaster Chef thinks. Not much. She's going to die! There's a nice bear! Ah! Somebody help me! Run! 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 <laughs> hey, are you okay? Uh, did that bear just ask me a question? <gasps> Goodness, I did not see that coming! Okay, I'm so confused right now. What are you, some kind of weirdo? I thought it would be funny! <laughs> okay, okay, that was so funny, like, Oh, it's a bear! Oh no! And like, we're all gonna die now! Help, help! <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna eat you! <laughs> like, I could actually do that! There's no way, okay? <laughs> Here are your antlers, noses, and little white tails. <laughs> yeah, right. I am not wearing that. There is no way I'm a deer. Take these off and your team is toast. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, nothing, Bambi. You'd better be a good shot, Tubby. At least we get a head start. I don't know about y'all, but I'm out of here. This may be the lamest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, come on. It could be fun. Okay, catch you later. We're together. I shall never let go. Oh, let me rephrase that. Run! We got neighbors. The rescue team? Or a trick, courtesy of Chris. I know how we can find out. I don't know about this. We pretend we're the headhunters and scare the bejeebers out of whoever's messing with our heads. There's only one problem, a 50-foot python with an attitude. Oh, that. Why didn't you do that hours ago? What, and miss out on all our bonding? Come on, let's go ooga boogie. This is it, brethren. We might not come back alive. So let's get our oogie boogie groove on. Yeah, Owen. I'm not so sure about this. Hey guys, it's about time you showed up. <gasps> Mr. Coconut! It's a mirage! They're just figments of my imagination! Oh, why's he talking to a coconut? Owen, it's not a mirage. It's our production crew's secret location. Oh, you don't look like you. 
Hey, lassie! That's on account of me being a master thespian. Just make sure you lose the Scottish burr. Okay, Granny McEscope? And that's... Action! When I was a young schoolgirl in Poland, frolicking through the fields with my pet goat in the summer sun, those were my happiest days. Did you check the envelopes before you labeled them? I thought you checked them. <laughs> now you listen, and you listen good. If your fighter doesn't go down in the first round, you'll be sleeping with the fishes. And, uh, that's tough to do because, you know, they have no eyelids, and it's hard to sleep. Hey, I, I can flip my eyelids. Hey, anyone want to see me flip them? Okay, Granny Izzy's nuts, but at least she's committed. Duncan's gonna have a hard time beating that. I've lived a good, long life. I've loved, I've laughed, but what I miss most of all is my sweet little goat. Chopin. Oh, bah, bah. Bah, bah. Cut, cut! Okay, enough! It's too much for Chef to take. Donkey clearly wins for best performance. The screaming gaffers win it! Hey, hey, oh, oh I was robbed! Yeah, I'll see you in the morgue, Caprice! My cranium! Take it easy. Guns are loaded with blanks. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure one of them is. <laughs> Since there's no beat in the heat, we're going west this week. There's a town meeting at high noon. Be there or I'll drive your dead beats out of town. <gasps> if you're driving us out of town, can we go to the mall? Get to wear these styling cowboy hats. Gaffers get to wear. Butters! You just had to ask. Sorry, but I bet you'll look really cute in the hack, Gwen. Utterly adorable. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> I have cow boobies on my head. Stupid million bucks. Would the cattle care for some hay? Would the host care for an utter sandwich? I'm good. Tell them what I just heard you say to Trent. Sorry, I can't hear you. Shoo! Head cold. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it then. Trent's been purposely throwing our challenges for Gwen. That's no so way! That's unfair. Gwen would never let Trent do that, ever. Right, Gwen? Mm, depends on how... There are other ways to... Ugh. It's true. <gasps> you two have been cheating? How could you? You're our friend. It wasn't my fault. I wasn't in on it, I swear. Why should we believe you? Because I broke up with Trent. <gasps> oh, no! Why are you and Trent? This, this whole thing could be a ruse, some strategy to make it to the final two. Wow, beauty and brains. I wasn't in on it, I swear. Prove it. Fine. Vote Trent off. Things have gotten way too complicated between us anyway. You'd be doing me a favor. <laughs> Great cherry cheesecake! She's bluffing! We'll see about that. Either way, you owe us, Gwen. Morning, competitors! Or should I say, doctors! <laughs> Ready for today's big challenge? That was humiliating, but the extra support was nice. Ah! 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 Today's genre, the period movie. Ooh, I love period movies. 
All the pretty petticoats and dresses with puff sleeves. Do we get wigs? Chef, do we have a wig? Oh, it smells like raw meat. Here are your costumes. Get into character, people. You've got to be kidding. I never kid. <laughs> Actually, I do, but never about something this funny. You'll look perfect, Duncan. You're already a total Neanderthal. Hello, cast. Nice to see you all decked out for the competition. And might I say, you all look pre-hysterical. Who knew I'd look so hot in leopard skin? Ow! I think mine still has a claw. Please note, no animals were harmed in the making of this television program. Okay, we good? Um, there! Got it! Chef! The tools for the first Stone Age challenge, please! Here's your rocks. Rocks? Aren't we taking this Stone Age thing a little too literally? Shows how much you know, Duncan. Rocks are an awesome resource. Inuit hunters use them to build anuk shucks. Plus, they make a great paperweight. Ow! That hurt! What do you know? Rocks are useful. Again. Did she say sleep twirling? That PDA is my legal right in this game. Touch it again, Beth, and prepare to be served. Morning, Sparts fans. Who's ready to put up a good offense? Spaghetti here. Get your bobbin' hot spaghetti here. <laughs> That was a spitball. That was breakfast. Pasta for brekkie? It's called Carbo Loading, contestants. Today, you're all going to give 200% in our exciting sports movie challenge. Ah! Let go of me. Oh, where are we? And why is Chef in a nighty? Today's challenges are inspired by the superhero flick. Today's challenges? <laughs> nuh uh. We just woke up. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. Or had breakfast. I'm going back to bed. Evil never sleeps, and neither will you. Besides, superheroes don't do the things of mere mortals. They have screaming ladies to rescue. Now, wearing a superhero costume of her own design, our first supermodel. State your name and superpower. Lumberwoman? You're a superhero. Act like one. I am Lumberwoman! And I can talk to plants! You're serious? What do you talk about? The best brand of fertilizer? That's worth a whole three points. I guess not so great minds think alike. I am Timberman! <laughs> and my superpower is... Seriously? Wood chips? Oh, and I can float and make fire as long as I've got matches. And I don't get too close to the flame. Ouch. Lame. Two points. Next! I'm Captain Alberta! And I can swirl up a hot Chinook wind. That's a spicy burrito. <laughs> it burns! Impressive. Gross, but impressive. Now that Owen's gone, someone's got to carry the fiery torch. And extra points for keeping it Canadian. Seven points for Captain Alberta. All right. Where are your tights? I don't do spandex. I'm the all-seeing eye, and I've got psychic powers. I can see into the future. <laughs> yeah, right. Harold is about to experience a painful life lesson. Ow! Even I saw that coming. Two points. I'm the human cricket! <laughs> and what are you gonna do? Chirp us into submission? Actually... Yeah! Okay! Okay! Stop it! Oh. Okay, 
Okay, that's a pretty effective superpower. Eight points. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Yes! Next! I'm Super Aqua Chick. And what's your superpower? Fair enough. Seven points. I'm Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman already exists. And she doesn't even look like that. Not so fast. I'm liking the costume. What's your superpower? Duh! I wonder a lot. Oh, and I have an invisible jet right here. Or did I leave it over there? You win. I loved Wonder Woman as a kid. Ten points! What? What about originality? Wonder Woman's already a superhero. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this your show? Oh, no. No, it's my show, which means I make the rules. Actually, I think my lawyers make the rules. Possibly, but I'm still the judge of the contest, and I deem Lindsay the winner, which means she gets an advantage in the next challenge. Yay! You may have won the first round, but we'll see who comes out on top. <gasps> Courtney just stepped on my invisible jet! Courtney, minus two points for stepping on Lindsay's jet! Uh, but... Can I have a ride? Sure! Who wants a ride in my invisible jet? I do! Man, I love this gig! To get past the terrible toothless troll, the knights had to wear disguises. There was the frog prince and the ugly stepsister. Sleeping Beauty and one of her seven dwarfs, and Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, can we at least make it Red Riding Hoodlum? No dice, dude. That's what it says in the script. Good work, kid. And so the ugly stepsister approached the terrible troll. But I can't see! Oh, yeah. For this challenge, each knight is blind. Who are you kidding? Nowhere in this story does it say the cowardly knights complained. So get it together, Steppy, and get crashing. Could this be any suckier? Ow! Ow! Apparently it could be! Ow! 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 Oh, also, those are wicked witches' apples, so they're poisonous and rotten. You might want to watch... Ow! Ow! <laughs> See? Beth is just not fairy tale heroine material. <laughs> Next, the eighth dwarf. He grabbed a fistful of courage and headed across the bridge. This is for you, Lashana! <laughs> Yours truly has developed some mad blind running skills. What was that? <laughs> They don't pay me enough for this! Hey, Sleeping Bigfoot! Boats go under bridges, not over them! <laughs> My fear, not that bad! <laughs> awesome! You're up, Froggy. Then it's Captain Hood. At least my face will be protected from further indignity. <laughs> Ow, tough start. Go a little more to the right. Sorry, man. Uh, hey, man, let me give you a hand. No! No! <laughs> there I was, down, dirty, and deafened. And I thought, WWCD, what would Courtney do? And then it came to me. She'd use her head. Justin still got it. All right, then. The final knight attempting to enter fairy tale land is Little Red Riding Hoodlum. We're over this way. Seeing? Good. Seeing Chef as a transgender troll? Priceless. Rapunzel, dude, let down your hair. <sighs> hey, he can see. How? With his x ray vision? That'd be cool. Uh, princess! Wait, wait, there's no kissing. What? Yes, 
It says here that Prince Justin and Princess Courtney must sword fight to determine the true winner. Whichever one of us wins the sword fight gets immunity? You're almost too smart to be a princess. But every fairy tale I've ever read ends with a kiss! Well, Beth, this is a modern tale. Gals have to fight for themselves. If that's how it has to be. No. I am a noble gentleman, a brave knight, a handsome prince. I would never hurt a lady. Although a guy who's working with you is apparently fair game. I said I was sorry, Harold. I refuse to raise a sword to Courtney. I give up any chance and immunity to spare her. And now? Sorry, Justin. I just can't let immunity go. You understand. I forgive you, princess! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, oh. I'm okay! Courtney wins immunity! Again! Yes! Okay. Up, down, left, right! Hey, Harold! Stop kicking yourself! Stop kicking yourself! Enough practice! When the beautiful geisha sounds the gong, the match will begin. Uh, Chris, I'm afraid you guys are confusing cultures. Geishas are Japanese, but Kung Fu is Chinese. Gah! Thank you, Duncan. My pleasure, dude. Watch out for Beth's roundhouse kick. It's a killer. Thanks, Miss Owen. So hungry. Here, chameleon. Pure boy. Ah, come to Duncan. I just want a little taste. <laughs> Not bad. More to the flies, much? Hmm, I'm seeing a tiny Tokyo, a giant radioactive monster. Oh, yes. Big O can be the monster. Huh? Big O, please. Al, you're a genius. Owen, stop! Owen, stop! Good! Hold on there, chubby buddy. Let us finish the tiny city first. Oh! Monster noises! Oh! oh no! The large out of shape monster! We must run! Think of the children! We shall stop him this way! Oh, oh delicious! Tolo tolo yum yum, happy go time! Candy fish tails, better than no no! Tolo tolo yum yum, happy go time! Tastes so good! Wash your face! More rain! Much more! This whole thing needs to be somberer! Yes, Harold! It's Sensei! Call me Sensei! You have five minutes left to film your ad. Then it's happy fish yum, what, whatever. We'll be watching them in five minutes. Great samurai! Please, do you have food? Psst, DJ, your line? Ugh. The hunger, the hunger, the hunger! Duty, honor, total drama, yum yum, happy go time, candy fish tails, eat them fast, time is fleeting, gosh. Yeah, that was interesting. It's a walk-off. Oh man, I hate walking. Each of you will pick a model to- Tyler, I picked Tyler. I'm going with Tyler. He's my pick. Tyler is. Mm -hmm. DJ. Um, I'll go with Gwen. What? I second that. What? Nothing personal, but I hate models and getting stared at. You'll be perfect. All right, each designer has to come up with a costume for their models to wear. Then yours truly, plus one member from each of the non-losing teams, will do the judging. The designer with the best design stays for another episode. No. Just no. Tyler, I could use some support. I'm glad you're having fun, but come on. When the guys on my hockey team at home see this, it'll be ugly. But we'll get the hair later. Let's 
let's move on to wardrobe. Do you think this one looks manly? This isn't gonna get better for me, is it? Nothing too foo-foo girly. Come on, let me see. I'm trying to lose. You don't say. First on stage, Lindsay Gutcher, as worn by that poor sucker, Tyler. <laughs> and here comes Gwen, wearing an original from DJ's Designs. Oh. Mama, I'm coming home. Mama, I'm coming home. No more animals gonna get hurt, cause Mama, I'm coming home. Okay. What do what you, do you think, think, judges? I don't know what Lindsay was thinking. All that surrealism, it makes me nauseous. I'd have to say that Lindsay's design just made me hungry. There were pictures of pheasants and I think some fruit. Uh, yeah, hungry. Definitely hungry and obsequious. I can't picture myself wearing water lilies. I mean, <laughs> I've worn them, but I don't like it. This is perfect. If Lindsay's design sucked, my will totally bottom suck. Home, here I come. And what about DJ's work? Dry, dull, uninspiring, not a hint of effort with the presentation. But enough about Gwen, the shirt was a 10. I agree, model suck, shirt good. I'd wear it. Well, I would have to say that I didn't realize that there would be two models, so I wasn't paying attention. But I really like DJ's shirt. Owen, oh, out. Victory to DJ! What? Uh, a one? No! Legal says we're clear. And imagine the ratings. That dip will score major hits online. <gasps> Did you hear something? <gasps> yeah! Hey, we cut the Ripper type guy. <gasps> Old man Jenkins? <laughs> Ezekiel? Yeah! I found him living in the cargo hold, homeschooling with the rats. I was gonna let him back in the game if he could avoid getting captured, but since he could not... <gasps> uh -oh! Please slip into these authentic Spartan battle costumes. <coughs> Costume! <gasps> He's like an angel. Those costumes are not authentic. Shh. No one cares. No! <sighs> Duncan? Duncan? You called? <laughs> nice bikini. Oh. Sing it! Oh, why did we build Wednesday? It's almost ready to set sail. Just hammering in the final nail. Uh, we really did this fast. Soon we'll be back in first class because they Death, do you part? Okay, so there's no makeup, people. But you have to have stunt doubles sometimes, right? Right? <laughs> you're so cute when you're terrified. We escaped falling down Niagara Falls just so you could make us walk over it on a tightrope? Even better. Each groom has to carry his bride across the gorge. And then you've got to successfully clear customs. First pair to do so wins invincibility and a pimped out wedding reception in first class. Heather and Alejandro won the challenge, so I'm giving them a head start. Ready, Mrs. Alejandro? Only if you are, Mr. Heather. Come along, better half. Let us take advantage of our head start. <sighs> Move it, lovebirds. But I'm carrying precious cargo. 
You should be the one to move it. Are you saying I'm not precious? Because, oh, yes, I am. Um, Langley, would you like to calm down? Maybe we can find you some more cake. Oh, zip it. Let's talk more walk. Cody, do you think Blainley is a nasty, nasty person? Uh, no, not the face! Now you've upset him! Back up! Ow, oh, my hair extensions! Ow, oh, my hollow leg! Oh. Ah! Uh, Jeff, go ahead and read that, would you, pal? Ew. Heather has selected the traditional Hawaiian fire dance of death. I question how traditional it is for a male warrior to wear a coconut bra. Forget that! Someone get me off of this thing! <laughs> she's funny when she's tied up and can't hurt me. Let's get this over with already. It's freezing in here. At this rate, I'm probably gonna need some more hot chocolate and another sleeve blanket. You sure you know what you're doing, chef? Well, as long as he can sign the release forms, we're golden. sign some paperwork that legally absolves the show of your little lava accident. Please, a million dollars. Is it safe? Uh, yeah. It seems that the million dollars fell into the volcano. It's gone. No! <laughs> Spaz. <laughs> 